Peace family, this is Ayapo Yapa, and this is the Draped Maniac Podcast, and I am the HDIC, the head Draped Maniac in charge, and here we have conversations on how to get off this plantation. This Draped Maniac Podcast is going to be extre- Excuse me, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, I just wanted to make sure that you listeners are listening to the Draped Maniac Podcast on doiamedia.com. You are, right? Extremely brief. And I just have something I want to say and comment to something I heard last night that got me thinking. I was listening to a live stream last night. It was a psychopathia's live stream. And they were having a discussion about uh, slavery and whether black people are indigenous or not, or if we were brought here in chains and so on. For the record, I fall on the side of the argument that Psycho and Renee were making. That's that's the side that I fall on. Uh, but it's not even about, for me, what I heard last night wasn't even so much about the subject matter. And it's one of the few times I just listened for a while and didn't didn't chime in. But it was about what was happening in the chat room, what was going on in the chat, and not just on Psycho's live stream, but I go to many other live streams and observe, and I listen, and I read the comments, and sometimes I comment or whatever. What's striking is the way that we argue among ourselves, the way we argue with each other, or many times it becomes a situation in which we're majoring in the minors. So what I have to say this evening really isn't about that, about Psycho's specific live stream per se. That's just, just listening to that live stream is what got me thinking. It's not about the subject matter for the final time. That doesn't matter. I've also been watching the impeachment hearings. And although I see it all as political theater, all of it, I I watch it strictly for entertainment purposes. I watch Democratic debates and uh, Republican debates and so on. I watch that strictly as entertainment. I have zero faith or trust or belief in this system. Okay. I watch it just for entertainment. Anyway, as the Republicans and the Democrats are fighting back and forth, you know, when falling, you know, falling on their side of the party line or whatever. The thing that's striking to me is that if at some time someone was to rush into the, you know, rush into the hearings, right, in the middle of while both sides are arguing back and forth, if someone was to rush in and say, the black people are uprising, you know what they would do? They would all say, you know what, we need to table this and go and get these black people back in line. That's exactly what they would do. They would table whatever they're doing. No matter what the conversation was about, no matter what they're arguing about, no matter what side of the fence they're falling on, at that point, they would say, screw that. We need to attend to these black people who are uprising. My point being that... When we get in arguments, when we have these discussions, it's like we're not remembering or realizing that we're in a situation where we actually need to figure out what what the common banner is, find out what the common strategy is, and move forward under that and have all these other arguments later. Because I told you, I'm not, this isn't going to be a long podcast. The thought I want you to take with you and to understand, as far as I'm concerned, and from what I see, one of the problems that we're dealing with as a people is that black people want to be right. We argue, we argue, we argue, trying to make our point. Ultimately, say that I do make my point and I prove you wrong. What have I won? The system still remains in place as it as it is, and we're still on the bottom of it. Say that you prove me wrong. The system is still in place, and we're still at the bottom of it. 
But we fight and we fight and we fight and we argue and argue with each other, trying to be right. And it's at the point where, and what I figured out, is black people are more concerned about being right. White people are more concerned about being white. That's why they can get together and pound us every time. While we're sitting here fractured, running off into a million different directions. Everybody's trying to be right. Everybody's more concerned about being right than coming together. At some point, someone's going to have to realize, you know what? Let's table this argument and address the real problems that are facing us all. And then after we overcome some of this stuff, then we can go back to these other discussions these other side discussions. So that is the, that's the problem as I see it. That's the solution as I see it. The solution is to take whatever your belief system is, however you believe, and say, you know what, I'm going to table this for a minute so that we can work toward a common cause. And then once we have some breathing room, then we can address these things. Whether we're able to do that or not remains to be seen. But that's how I see it. This is Ayapo Yapo. This is the Drape the Maniac Podcast. And as always, I'll see you on the run. And thank you again for listening to the Drape the Maniac Podcast. Tune in next week at doiamedia.com. D O E A I A M E D I A dot C O M. And again, we'll catch you on the run.